Hello, welcome to another segment on SecureSet. Today it's gonna to be a little different. We're gonna be filming something in the warehouse. We're gonna uh, concentrate on two technical aspects for using the product. Over the last week to 10 days, we've had so many calls about people who have problems with extended uh, voids uh, under concrete. Uh, a fellow called from North, Carol uh, North Dakota and he has a void that is at the end of a 34-foot walkway. Uh, another one in Louisiana, uh, his is actually 40 feet deep. So the question is, how far can we push the uh, high-density spray foam through a piece of CPVC, uh, 3 8 inch uh, diameter? How far can we push it, and how long will it take to come out the other end? So if you have this issue, uh, you know, you, you want to feed this tube all the way to your problem area. So we're going to actually film 50 feet of tubing, and we're going to time it to see how long it takes for the foam to get to the other end. And then at the end of that, we're also going to pay attention to what you have to do to preserve the integrity of the gun after you have completed your um, uh, insertion of the foam. So we're gonna time it. And uh, the second half of the video is going to be about how do you properly attach a uh, static mixer to a length of the CPVC. So we'll do that in the second half of the segment. But right now, uh, we're going to set up uh, the spray foam. I've already turned on the valves. I, we, you've seen that in the previous video. So we always do our test shot. So I've attached a static mixer. Hit the safety. We've got very good pressure. So now we're gonna move to our test to see how long or if we can push this 50 feet and how long it will take. So we are ready to go. I'm starting the timer. And away we go. I hear good flow down the pipe. Let's see. It's still flowing good. We're at 15 seconds. Uh, we, at 20 seconds, we went 50 feet. We've got a signal that we've got flow going. And so what we're going to do is, uh, we're gonna let this go for one minute after it reached its destination. And uh, we're gonna start pulling back a little bit. We're, uh, so we're gonna run this to a minute and 20 seconds. We're gonna, then we're gonna go see how much product we had uh, at the end of uh, filming for one minute. So we're at uh, 55 seconds now. We're gonna go to a minute and 20 seconds. We're at a minute and five. Minute and 10. We've got 10 more seconds. We're at 15. Okay, we've had good flow down the pipe. Um, we're at about a minute and 40 seconds. So uh, uh, we had uh, actually one minute of uh, flow. So we're gonna just wait a little bit. You wanna make sure you give the uh, product a little time in the tube to harden up because if you take the tube off immediately after you've stopped uh, injecting it, you'll have some significant blowback uh, past, uh, I mean, at the, at the end. So let it harden up, that takes about two minutes, and uh, then uh, remember, we'll, we'll uh, clean the tip because we want to protect your tool, the application tool. We have our um, paper towel and the petroleum jelly that we're gonna use to seal this up. Okay, we've got, um, about 10 more seconds. We're gonna let this wait for about two minutes. And that's good. Okay, so take this off. 
That's right. Clean this up immediately. Okay, get some petroleum jelly out of this packet right there and put it on the end of the gun and uh, make sure that that doesn't come out. Your tool is protected for use next time. Now, you do, you do not want to vacate the product in the hoses. You want to leave the, or turn the valves off, but do not depressurize the lines, and this will stay good for about 30 days. So, there we go. Okay, so the first half of the uh, technical side of the video is complete. Um, we did say that we wanted to show you how to secure the nozzles into the end of the CPVC tube so that it's, it's virtually, it's not necessarily impossible, but phenomenally, phenomenally difficult to pull out. So what you're gonna need is obviously a static mixer. Some of this fiber reinforced, they call it strapping tape. It's uh, got little, uh, I think, fiberglass fibers in it. A uh, good pair of scissors. I happen to also have a PVC cutter. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to prep the nozzle. So you, see, you can see the opening on the nozzle. If you cut this about halfway up, you can effectively double the size of the opening. That's good to get a faster flow uh, out of the, uh, the tanks. So then uh, I've pre-cut four pieces of this tape, three inches and five inches. So the first thing you do is you take this and you wrap five revolutions of tape around the end of the mixer. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, that will act as your seal going into the tube. Okay, now push it on as far as you can. Try to get it up as close to the fins as you can. All right, now take the first piece, the, the three inch piece, and tape it right like that. And turn it over, put on the second piece. Okay, then put on your five inch ones over the same piece of tape. Come on. Here we go. Like that. Now, once you've got that, press it in. And now, just start wrapping this from the bottom of the tape. Now that is how you attach the mixer. So cut the tip, put on your anchor tapes, and then wrap it, and you will have a mixer that basically you can't pull out of the end of the uh, CPVC tube. Makes it very easy, and it gives you an assurance that you're not gonna, you know, uh, separate or blow the mixer out of the end of the, of the pipe. So that's the two points that we wanted to cover today. Number one, of course, was uh, the uh, potential for uh, getting the foam at least 50 feet back underneath a concrete slab and also uh, an enhanced way to uh, secure these uh, static mixers into the CPVC pipe. So thank you very much for watching and it's really, it's been another good day with SecureSit. Thank you.